Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to show overhangs in Revit. So usually whenever we want to show an overhang, we show it with a dashed line on the level below, showing the elements above, um, that's an overhang. In this example file from Autodesk, you can see that we've got a cantilever here, that's on level 2, and we should ideally see a dashed line on the floor below, but we don't. So usually what happens, or what I see people do, is they go annotate, they go to a detail line, and wherever the overhang is, or where it stops, starts, to go here, they'll copy it to the floor below. The problem with this is, is that if you go to the element again, and maybe you change the overhang amount, so it goes here, I'm just going to hit tick, don't attach, you can see that this hasn't updated, right? So the best way to do this is using the line work tool and range base overlays. So if I go down here and I go to range base level and I go to one, and I set the level to level two, and then if I go here and I click on the look up direction, you can see that we can see the floor above, right? And now we want to select the element that we want to show the overhang for. If you can't select the element, that's an underlay. You need to go down here to your bottom right and click the select underlay elements. Great, so once that's checked, we just want to select the element that we want to show the overhang for. So for this part, it's going to be the floor. I'm just going to isolate the element and I'm going to press LW on my keyboard for the line work tool. And then for the line style, I'm going to do overhead, select this line. And now this is the best part. When I set this back to none, we will still see the line work override. So if I press reset here, you can see that we've now shown the um, override for that floor, right? So if I go here and I go to level two and I go edit boundary, and then I move this across, you know we've extended the cantilever. You can see that it's also updated on our plan. Okay, so if we're working with Revit links, the workflow is a bit different. On my right, I have my architectural link and on the left, I have my container file. So if I go to level one here and we do the same thing as before, where I set the base uh, level to level one, this to level two, look up, you can see there's no difference, right? What I have to do is I have to set the line work override to the view in the architectural link. So I've set it here. And now in my container file, I'm just gonna set this back to none. What we have to do is go to Revit links in the visibility graphics for the view. And I'm gonna set this from by host view to custom. And then I'm gonna select the actual view that we had in the link. So this is level one for this link here. And now you can see we get the properties of the view and that includes the element overrides. I hope this helps. Cheers.